28, um, the cloud man attacked uh, insect and James uh, and the giant beach with the hails, um, well, which was as big as balls, uh, it's strong. And then uh, James and insects to, um, came down uh, through the tunnels and they were a little bit safety but they were uh, hurt at, uh, with the hails and after um, attacking um, they checked uh, uh, dark clouds uh, disappeared and so and they uh, went up to the giant beach and looked around um, cloud men uh, didn't appear and so they worried about the giant beach the giant beach uh, was leaking because of uh, hail. Mm. So and uh, uh, they worried about the giant peach and when uh, the clouds man appeared again and other insect and mm, and James uh, came down to worry about uh, their attack, but centipede uh, didn't, and then centipede uh, made a fun of uh, a cloud man again, and then, but uh, one of the cloud men, uh, they made a rainbow, uh, so uh, after making rainbow with paint and. Uh, one of the cloud men poured uh, paint uh, on head and body of centipede. So centipede uh, got paint, and which was attacked, uh, uh, stuck to the bottom. So and centipede didn't move. So centipede asked James for help. Okay, I'm going to read it. And chapter twenty nine. It seems like a long time before the seagulls were able to pull the fish away from that horrible rainbow cloud. But they managed it at last, and then everybody gathered around the wretched centipede and began arguing about the best way to get the pain off his body. He really did look a sight. He was a purple over, and now that the pain was beginning to dry and harden, he was forced to sit very stiff and upright as though the heat were encased in cement and all forty two of his legs were sticking out straight in front of him like a rat. He tried to say something but his lips wouldn't move. All he could do now was to make uh, uh, goggling noises in his uh, throat. The old green grasshopper reached out and touched him carefully on that stomach. But how could it possibly have dried so quickly? He asked, the rainbow faint, James answered, the rainbow faint dries very quickly and very hard. He detests faint, Miss Spider announced, it frightened me. It reminds me of the Aunt Spiker, the late Aunt Spiker, I mean because the last time she painted her kitchen ceiling. Uh, my poor darling grandmother stepped into it by mistake when it was still wet and there she stuck. And all through the night, uh, we could hear her calling to her, saying, Help, help, help. It was heartbreaking to listen to her, but what could we do? Not things so until the next day when the faint had dried. And then, of course, we all rushed over to her and then calmed her down and gave her some food. And believe it or not, she lived for six months like that, upside down on the ceilings there with her legs struck. Permanently in the paint, she really did, and then we paid her every day. We brought her fresh supplies straight from the web. Yeah, but then, uh, on the 26th of the April last, and Spongy, the uh, late Aunt Spongy, I mean, I happened to dress up at the ceiling, and then she spider, a spider, she cried, and disgusting spider kicked past me the mops with the long handle. And then, so it was so awful, I can't bear to think of it. Miss Spiders wiped away a tear and then <coughs> looked sadly at the centipede. You both, she murmured. I do feel sorry for you. It will never come up. 
The earth will one side is the brightest. Our center of the will never move against that. He will turn into a statue. Now we shall be able to put him in the middle of the lawn with the bird bath on the top of his head. We could try to fill him like a banana. The old green grasshopper suggested that. Or rubbing him with the sandpaper? The ladybug said. Now, if I stuck out his tongue, the earthworm said, smiling a little quiet the first time in his life. If he stuck it out a little far, and then we could all catch hold it of it and start fooling, and if we'd fooled hard enough, we could turn him inside out, and he would have a new skin. There was a pause while the others considered this uh, interesting proposal, I think. James said slowly, I think that the best thing to do, then he stopped. Does that? he asked quickly. I heard a voice, and I heard something shouting. 